In an anticipated speech delivered from the State Department, President Obama discussed his vision for the Middle East and Northern Africa. He also used the televised speech to persist in protecting Israel. Ultimately, it is up to the Israelis and Palestinians to take action. No peace can be imposed upon them, not by the United States, not by anybody else. Obama said Palestinians would never gain independence by denying Israel the right to exist, claiming that efforts to delegitimize Tel Aviv would fail. The United States supports a set of universal rights, and these rights include free speech, the freedom of peaceful assembly, the freedom of religion, equality for men and women under the rule of law. Obama admitted that short-term interests may not represent the long-term vision of the region, but assured the regional allies that Washington will keep its commitment to friends and partners. Dr. Levitt, an expert on U.S. policy in the Middle East, says this is part of a strategy by the U.S. to demonstrate that no country will be treated differently by the administration. I think he also wanted to make clear that this cuts across political and economic issues and that it applies to everyone, including to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. But I think you also want to make clear to people that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict can't be wished away, that the Israelis have real concerns and the Palestinians have real concerns. President Obama promised new aid to democracy embracing nations and condemned attacks on demonstrators in Syria, Libya and Bahrain, a key U.S. ally. Much of what President Obama outlined in his speech wasn't new, but rather a synopsis of the current climate in the Middle East and Northern Africa. Some experts say the president designed his address with a look forward to a 2012 of re-election, as well as spreading ideals of democracy. According to the president, promoting democratic reforms in Arab nations is a top priority for his administration. Once there's a good governance in the Middle East, the whole world will be a better place. But others would rather the president put more effort to problems here at home. For Education, some... I would say, would be number one. Um, we're here visiting from the southeast, and that's a big problem, in my opinion, in the southeast. Um, but the, the, the economy and jobs. On Friday, President Obama meets with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to discuss Palestine. Colin Campbell, Press TV, the White House.